Hello everyone. My name is Michaela. Um, and today, if you maybe guessed from um, the emojis that I put on there, I'm going to be working with stuff um, with the temperature sensor on the circuit python. Um, it's been really hot where I am and it just made me think about um, I'm just trying to like track the difference between cold and hot. I'm wearing these chilly earrings today. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. So let's go to the editor. Okay. So I created this um, program a couple of hours ago. I like worked on it last night and then I like ended up um, changing it today because <laughs> um, it was not working directly last night. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be working with functions today. Uh, I'll be talking about that. We're gonna talk about the infrared um, signal as well. So let me start out by here I gotta okay I'm just gonna like make sure I remember okay yeah cool okay so we're gonna go back to home <laughs> and start a new project um, I'll just say hot and cold Okay, here we go. So I'll start with the temperature sensor. So we're gonna go to input. And if we scroll down, we have a block here that's for the temperature. So this is similar to like the other inputs like um, like on a click, which we worked on yes or not yesterday, last week, um, with like on shake, where like if you shake it, like <laughs> then um, something will happen. So this is similar, but with temperature. So when it's hot at 15 degrees Celsius right now, it's gonna do something. So I want to change it to Fahrenheit because. I don't know, Celsius beyond zero degrees Celsius is freezing <laughs> for water. Um, so let's have some lights move. Um, so I'm gonna put this in here. Let's change this from 15 uh, to like 90. Because that to me is very odd. Um, okay, so we have that. We're gonna choose our animation. Uh, let's have this one, because it's got like red and orange in it. So it'll do that. And then after that, I just want all the pixels to go black. Put this in here. Change that to black. Okay. And then we want another one for when it's cold. So put that in there. Um, I'm just gonna duplicate this and then duplicate that. Now thinking about it, should have duplicated the whole thing. It's okay. <laughs> so change this to cold. And then let's say our cold is 50 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. This one, let's go with the blue ring. Okay, so we have our two um, different blocks for the temperature, hot and cold. Let's test it out. So, okay, let me move it up. Oh, what happened? Where is it? It should be working. 
Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe let me put in a pause here so that it'll go a little bit longer because it's probably moving through it pretty fast. I'll duplicate this. Move this black. All right. Okay, let's test this out. Two. Yay! Okay, we got the hot and we got the cold. All right. Hello? Why isn't it working? Mm -hmm. It should be working a bit. Oh. <sighs> I guess it's gonna be finicky. <laughs> I guess so if I wanna see it for longer, then I'll add a loop and we'll repeat it a couple of times so we can actually see it go. Do the animation for a while. So, okay. I guess there's no easy way to do this. Put it right there. Put, oh. <sighs> I just wanna move one block, but it won't let me. Okay, duplicate it. Put this in here. I'll delete that one. And then I'll move this one outside. So that just shows the animation for a while. And then, let's see here. I repeat it, this one. Come on, come on. I had it the first time, I was gonna do the right thing. <gasps> okay. Okay, wait, let's see. No, okay. <laughs> I'll just move it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's see this. <laughs> All right. And five. All right. Let's do it the four times. Okay. And then, okay. So if any temperature is between 90 and 50, then nothing will happen. But below 50, it'll do the blue ring and then I guess 90 and above it should do the red animation all right so I want to create my own animation I want to do something different than what they have so to do that I'm gonna make my own function so let's go a function and I'm gonna call this Hot animation. All right. So if you're not familiar with what a function is, it's pretty much um, like, it's like a block <laughs> that um, does something um, and you can call that function so that, you know, instead of having to write, write something multiple times, you know, do it over and over again, you can make a function and put, you know, that code um, into a function and then just call the function and it'll do it, um, like whatever is in the function block. So it really helps um, with like making things in its own separate place and then being able just to call it easily versus like um, calling something, not calling something, but like doing the same code over and over again um, when you can just call something instead. So for my hot animation, I want like like orange and red to like spiral. So I'm gonna go to light and I'm gonna start out with setting the pixels excuse me to orange. Orange and then from there, I need to try and make like this in my mind, um, this animation where like all everything's orange, and then it like changes to red. So similar to like the blue animation that happens down here, like when something's cold, I want all of the um, lights to be orange initially and then like the red moves around it and like 
the ones that were orange now change to red. So I think to do that, I'm gonna use a loop and I'll do this repeat in here. So in that loop, I'm gonna use this block. So setting a pixel at one of the locations to a certain color. So let's see what happens with that. So, oh wait, I haven't called the hot animation anywhere. That's what I need to first do. So functions, call hot animation. So I'm gonna, I'll take out this. Oh, nope, do not connect those. Put this, that, and then we'll call the hot animation. So, the simulator, okay. So, we'll go up to four. Okay, so right now, well, you can't really see it happen. <laughs> um, let's see this, oh no, it's not here, okay. I thought there was like a slow-mo mode, but I think that may be gone, <laughs> or it goes really slowly. Um, but right now it's just showing like orange everywhere and then it shows red at one place. So I want to move the pixel that starts out here red and it goes like all the way around. So I'm going to use a variable. Let's just call it index. Okay. So let's first set its actual value. So let's right click here, click set index to, and I'm gonna set it to zero. Is it gonna look? Oh no. Okay, well maybe, mm, I'll delete that and then I'll just go into variables down here and do it here instead. All right, nice and easy. So I'm gonna set the index to zero and then I'm going to put the index here. So right now, based on what I wrote, um, the pixel color is gonna change at whatever index is, which right now is just zero. But I want to move it forward, so I'm going to change it by one so that it moves forward because right here is zero and then one two three four five all the way up to nine so let's just see right now if this works for four times if it moves forward so i'll change this oh it went really quickly oh can i see it Hmm. Well, I think the problem is we can't see it happen because it's moving fast. So I'll put a pause and I'll put it in between here and let's do 200 like we did last time and let's see. All right, it seems like it's moving, but still being weird. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's because of the pause that we have right there. So we're gonna move that. Let's see if it works. <laughs> okay. Is it working a little bit better? Now it's a lot more smooth. Okay. So instead of four, let's say it's nine times. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, it looks way better and more like what I was thinking about. It's just like orange. Why is yours stopping? Let's think about why that's happening. Oh, okay, let's go in the blue. Hmm. Orange. And it's just stopping there. Back to my one on two. Hmm. I wonder why. Is it because I took out the other boss? <laughs> Maybe so. Or... Mm, no, that seems fine. Okay. Oh, darn it. Okay, the leap at... Duplicated here. Okay. So, it seems that... I'm having trouble with getting this to run the way that I think it should. Where it should go around and be orange and then go to red. Um, and then do that four times. So let's go back. Okay, it goes one time. Oh, I know what's happening. So what we're doing here in this block is um, we're setting the pixel at whatever index is. So that starts at zero and pause for 200 milliseconds. So it just, we actually get to see um, the LED turn red and then we change the index by one. So it's going up from zero to one, one to two, two to three. And then um, at the end, it should be at like eight or nine, I think like nine. Um, and then when we call it again, because we repeat that um, calling the hot animation four times, index is starting at um, nine. And then like um, after it's, go it's at nine, it goes to 10 and there is no LED at 10. <laughs> so what we need to do is take this out of on start and put it in the function so that every time we call hot animation, it um, creates like the index variable and it starts out from zero every time instead of, you know, starting from zero and then just keep going up and up and up and up every time we call hot animation. So let's see if <laughs> what I thought is correct. So we start at 82 and then we go 95, 98. Okay. It looks like we're pretty much doing what I thought. Oh, oh no, I hit that with my chin. Sorry, <laughs> that was a lot of noise. Um, let's repeat this 10 times instead of nine. So I'm obviously missing one of the LEDs. All right, test it. <gasps> Yay! It's so pretty. Okay, so we now pretty much have our hot animation. If I wanted to, um, I could continue to build upon this and like have it go backwards. So like at the end of what it is right now, it's like all red. Let's see. Why isn't it showing it? Here we go. So then it's like all red. And if I want, I can like have it go in reverse and then like turn orange, like turn all the red ones orange, or it can turn like a different color. Uh, for right now, we'll just keep it where it is and we'll work on the cold um, animation function. And then after that, we're gonna test it out on an actual circuit um, playground. Um, so we're gonna make a new function and we're gonna call it cold animation. Um, and wait, I should stop here to see if anyone has asked a question or left a comment. No, all right, cool. Well, let's keep moving forward. So um, let's just copy 
like what's in here. So we'll duplicate it. And I made a second one. And then take out all those blacks there. Delete that. Nice and easy. So pretty much what I just want to do with this, excuse me, is just change um, the colors. So I'll make that like electric blue. And then this one like kind of just like a regular blue color. And if anyone's like worried about like having the two different index, you know, variables here, it'll be fine because for every function, like the variables are like new to, ju to just that function. Like the index here will not affect the index in there. Like it creates like two different um, like index variables that are specific to both of those functions. So it'll be all good. So let's take that out. So delete that. And then we're gonna call the cold animation. All right, and let's test it out. Okay, so we got the hot, and then let's go down to the cold. Oh. <gasps> Why is it red? Well, maybe that was just <laughs> something weird happened. Maybe just because we like went like straight from hot to cold. Huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Huh. We'll see here. I am not sure why that happens, but for the most part, it's doing what I think it should be doing. <laughs> so, okay, like I said, we're gonna test it out. So let me turn on the camera. So you can't see, ma'am. I am sorry for if that somewhat hurts somebody's ears. <laughs> so we're gonna move this up. And you can see I have two of these today. Right now, we will only need one. We'll need two later um, to do the infrared stuff. So let me plug this in. Okay. And then I'm going to. This thing is like trying to fly up. Okay, I'm gonna download this program and then. Upload it to the device. Downloads. Here we go. Oh. Okay, so what I've learned <laughs> is that the temperature sensor on the actual device is kind of tricky to work with. And so my roommate Vanessa came up with this brilliant idea last night. It was like 12 in the morning. <laughs> Um, and she was like, okay, like freeze a wet paper towel. And so like you can like actually get like the cold um, sensing like, or like you can actually like detect that it's cold on the sensor and it like won't get like the whole thing wet. So give me one moment <laughs> and I'll get <laughs> the frozen paper towel. <laughs> So, came back, my hair's all different now. <laughs> um, so, I have the frozen paper towel. <laughs> it's nice and cold. So, I'll put this down. And then the temperature sensor is right here. So, let me just lower this a little bit closer. Okay, I'll just move this instead. And I'll get it even a little bit. Close, probably too close. It's like back up. <laughs> okay, it's getting warm now. So, put it on there, wait a little bit for it to hopefully get cold. <laughs> this should work. Okay, 
Okay, this was working like instantly before. <laughs> so someone's just not working with me anymore. Mm -hmm. Come on. No. It's plugged in. So what should be happening is that like it's cold and I'll do like the cold animation with the blue and then like after I take the paper towel off like it'll do the blue animation like again and then the sensor will like actually get warm or at least not be as cold. <gasps> Wait I know what the problem is. I was using different numbers. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like I said before, this sensor is not perfect um, like the actual simulator is. <laughs> and so having it at 50 is too low for cold. <laughs> and it needs to be at like 82 degrees, which is pretty, um, pretty warm for it to be cold. But let me change that and then download this again. And oh, you hit reset. Okay. Um, <laughs> did it download? Okay, it did. Great. Oh no. All my windows are running away from me. Okay, uh, downloads, and then the new hot and cold sensor program, upload it. Okay, so we see it doing the hot one. It's kind of hard to see because the colors are so bright. <laughs> I may just turn down the intensity. So it turned off because it's not at 90, is it feel 90 degrees or hotter? And then, <gasps> The blue is working! Ah! Okay, great! The frozen paper towel worked. It's a little bit less frozen now, <laughs> but I have like five more <laughs> in the freezer <laughs> to keep working with. Okay, great! It worked! So, now we're gonna take it to the next level. We're gonna try and use the infrared sensor so or not sensor I guess like signaling so pretty much like what um, happens with like the infrared is that it'll send like an infrared signal which is like a certain type of like wave I think it's like a like a certain kind of light wave that people can't see <laughs> um, and it'll send it out and like another um, circuit playground can receive it and then like you can have it do something. So to find that, you'll find it in the network section. Okay, zoom in, we are too far out. Okay, too far in, <laughs> back it up. All right, so here we see um, it's one block to actually send the number. So like with the infrared, they'll send another, uh, send a certain number. And then we have a block to do um, something when it's received by like the other device. So let's first start with this. So I want to happen is that um, when it's hot or it's cold, um, the device will send the infrared it'll send like a certain number different um, from the two of them. And then the other device will play the same animation um, that the sender is. So I'll put that in there and then duplicate this and put it in here. So I want there to be two different, um, well not two different animations, but like I want the device like the second device to play the same animation as the first one like if the sender is hot 
then I want the hot animation to play on both of them. So because of that, I need to send a different number um, so that the receiver can understand like, okay, if I get a zero, then I need to play the hot animation. And if I get sent a one, then I'm going to play the cold animation. So I have this block and because like we're making a decision and need to do things based on like certain um, like based on like the situation like what you get sent we're going to use an if else uh, block here because we're doing some kind of logic so like if I get sent a zero then playing hot um, otherwise I'm going to do the cold animation I have to put another if um, for the cold case because we're only sending like two numbers so it's okay if we're just specific about one of them so in this whoa super close <laughs> in the infrared block um i need to change this logic here so that it says if num like that number that we send if num is equal to zero then playing the high animation so we're going to go back to the logic, use this one for comparison, just put it right there, and then get num from the variables section, and then put this all right there. All right. So with that, if num is equal to zero, I want the hot animation to play. And I want to do the same thing as this. So what is probably easier is to duplicate this and put it in here and delete that. Um, but I don't want it to send like another infrared because that could be crazy <laughs> between the two. Like if you like receive it and then you send it and the other one is like going back and forth. It's gonna it's, it's gonna be wild. Um, I need to remember to set the pickles, pixel, <laughs> pixels <laughs> to black at the end. Um, so that's our hot case. So let me, okay, add a comment here. If the number C is zero. Oh my gosh. And play the hot <sighs> animation. Please excuse my typing. <laughs> I I can do better than this. It's just that I feel it. There's people, <laughs> so I make more mistakes. Okay, so if we play, okay open this up. If the number received is zero, then play the hot animation. Otherwise, um, play the cold animation. All right. Got that comment in there. And that just helps with remembering what um, this all does. So for the cold, I'm just going to duplicate this one over here and duplicate that, put that down there, take out the send, delete block. Okay, so it looks like we're set and let's test it out. Yeah. Okay, I think, this, I think this should work. I was like trying to like do it in my head. Like, eh. I don't know. We're going to have to just see. So let's turn it up. Oh. I don't know if it should be working at 89 degrees. But we see from the, the second one down here that's doing the animation. Okay. Let's see, that one should be turned off. 
So there's something weird happening with that. Okay. So, hmm. should be playing then, right? Huh. Something weird is happening. Let's see. Okay. The cold is working right. Because this one is at 82, but it's getting the signal from um, the top um, circuit that, you know, play the cold animation. Alright. Okay. It seems a little weird, but I think I'm just not counting how many times it's supposed to play. Or maybe because it's cold, it's sitting it every time. I don't know. Okay, so hot one, two, three, four, one. I'm just wondering if it just keeps playing because it's hot. <laughs> like the other one that keeps playing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh, something's wrong. Okay. We got to go back to the code. <laughs> we got to figure out what we're not doing right. Okay. So, let's look back at our work from what we added. So, uh, yeah, I feel like this is the problem. Maybe because we're sending that signal four times. <laughs> and when we send the signal once, then the animation should play four times on the other circuit. So, if I send that original, like, if I send the the signal four times and each time it's supposed to play four times and it's supposed to play 16 times on the other one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's too much. <laughs> um, yeah. So <laughs> I should maybe change that. So quick fix. Um, Okay, well, I guess I'm going to take those all out and there we go. Put that in there just to play the animation four times. And then send the signal once because it's outside of that loop. So that we don't get the craziness that we got last time. Move that out. Put these back in the loop. Put that send block at the top. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. That was so, it was so wrong before. <laughs> ah, the joy of programming. Okay, so let's test it this time. So we're at 82. I guess if it's at 82, then it doesn't play the cold. All right. That's fine. So, okay, we're at 77. And the other one isn't playing it. So let's just... Okay, well, I went a little bit higher than I wanted to. But it's playing it correctly. Okay, I think it's got like three times. Should be the fourth time. <gasps> and they both ended to... Oh, perfect. Okay, so that's working right. Let's go down to the cold. Okay, first time. One, two. Okay, three. All right, all right, four. We did it, people. We wrote this as it's supposed to actually, <laughs> it's supposed to actually happen. Okay, let's do it in real time. So we turn on other uh, camera. You gotta adjust this. I'm gonna need another cold towel. <sighs> Darn, okay. So let's first just plug in the second device. Alright, all these cords. Yeah. Okay, now push reset on the other one so I can put the new program on there. Alright, so I'm going to downloads. Uh, it's now to. I should really like rename these every time, but that's a lot of work. Okay. All right, 
It looks like they're both playing the hot animation. Okay. So, darn it. <laughs> I have to get up and go use a towel. Okay. One moment. <laughs> back <laughs> and we have our cold paper towel so let's see if this works <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put it on this one <gasps> it worked so it worked because I only put the towel on one of them and it properly sent the message to the other one let's see it did the same oh Okay, it's official. I can't have this mic this low anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna knock it every time. <laughs> okay, I want to see if the hot is gonna work. So I'm gonna try that by putting my finger on it. I found that's like the best way to do it. I tried to like breathe hot air on it and that did not work. I just looked stupid <laughs> doing that. So maybe it works. I'm trying to like find something, okay, the battery for this computer is pretty warm right now, so I'm gonna like put my finger on it, and then try to put it on here, <gasps> it worked, it worked, <laughs> yo, we're having victories today. Yo, this is pretty sweet. Uh, it's super cool that like, you know, it just like sends the signal and then like it has the other thing playing on it at like the same time. Oh, huh, okay. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, of course, I could do more with this if I wanted. I could play different animations. I could play like a more complicated, complicated like, um, animation like if it you want it to kind of look like fire so like it starts out red and then it goes orange and then yellow and it just kind of all um goes in a spiral together and the same kind of thing for the blue but you know what you guys can do that on your time you know make something cool out of what i've made make it different you know that's the fun thing about programming like you know you can start with like you know something as a foundation and then you can kind of make up what, you know, whatever you want from it. So uh, I'll make sure to upload this to my uh, Twitter and um, I'll have like a link so you can um, get to this file on your own and then make something out of it um, of your own. Uh, my Twitter is make Kayla. Um, so it's like make like M-A-K-E underscore A-Y-L-A. You can follow me and see whatever I make, other things that I may end up tweeting about <laughs> um, and other people I'm following. Um, so thank you so much for coming and watching today. Um, hope to see you guys or whoever next Friday at the same time, 2 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Pacific, um, and just have some fun programming with me. All right, guys. Peace out.